Good morning everyone. Well it's the middle of spring here and uh, I've got another job to get underway. I have to take a few boxes of old skanky frames that I have, frames that are, are really really old. You can see that uh, they're out of shape, there's a lot of uh, drone comb there. Basically they need replacing with new foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place those frames into a steamer for about 45 minutes or so to melt out the old wax and soften up the comb so that I can get rid of it. Now you can see there that I have a bit of a um, homemade steamer. Essentially what it is is a fire pit with an old keg on top. Now in that keg I've got some water which will generate steam that steam will then go into the uh, laundry tub. I've built a lid for it. The frames inside will heat up, the wax will melt out, and then of course it will flow out the bottom through the plug hole uh, into that bucket I have in underneath. Now, my next job, obviously, is to get the fire going and uh, I'll stack up that tub and uh, have it ready uh, for the first melt. I'll uh, get back to you shortly. As you can see, I've stacked the laundry tub. I can get about 11 frames in here normally. There's a little bit of burr comb in underneath those frames. I'll put the lid on shortly, connect up the steam pipe. I've got the fire going, and in about uh, 20 minutes or so, I should get some steam passing through those frames and the wax will start to flow. I'll get back to you when everything is working really nicely. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and the wax is just starting to flow. You can see it dripping down in the bucket. It's a little bit difficult to catch it on film, but it is starting to drip into the bucket and underneath. I'll keep those frames in there until the uh, wax stops flowing, basically. You can see there's plenty of heat coming out of this fire now and you may be able to hear the boiler. So I'll give it another half hour, hour maybe three quarters of an hour, and, uh, and I'll come back and I'll take those frames out while they're hot, and I'll clean them up uh, just with a scraper at that stage. Okay, the frames have been steaming for about half an hour now. What I'm going to do is remove the pipe take the lid out of the way and take the frames out one at a time. I'll try and slide the lid back on to keep the heat in there uh, so that the frames don't cool down too much. We've got to be careful when we're dealing with steam so that we don't burn ourselves. So we just get that out of the way. Just before I take the lid off, let's have a look at some of the wax that has already been produced. You can see the bees have uh, smelt the wax and the honey and they're coming up for a bit of a look-see. So I've had to cover up the boxes so they don't have access to that honey. All right, watching for the steam. Get in, take a frame out, give it a bit of a shake. And as you can see, most of the slum gum has already fallen off. I just bring it over to a bucket give it a, a bit of a scrape, just with a paint scraper, to clean it up. Try to remove any propolis I can, while it's still nice and molten. You can see that the wires have lost some of their tension, but that's a quick job to fix up a little bit later on when the frames cool down. And finally, just clean out the groove so the new foundation will slide into place. And there we have it. One nice clean frame, ready for retensioning a little bit of foundation put onto it and it can go straight back into a hive. 
it's about 10 minutes later now and the first load of frames is nice and clean and as you can see I've got a good load of slum gum that'll end up going into the vegetable garden there'll be some good trace elements in that and already I've got the next load underway so we'll wait another half an hour and I'll uh, repeat this whole process again getting back to those frames just a little bit more clean up a bit of wire retensioning as I said earlier and those frames are ready to go again and that's about it for today and anyway thanks for watching